Be greedy when others are fearful and right now in the commodity markets is the time to be greedy because commodities right now they are on sale. Everything from gold to silver to platinum to palladium to copper we have seen them all break back down towards their swing lows providing back-to-back -back opportunities to swoop in here and pick up positions at a massive discount across multiple commodities. Now over the course of this week we've also seen natural gas prices they've broken out 10%. We've seen uranium prices they've broken out to all-time record highs. There's always a commodity somewhere that is breaching all-time highs. We've seen it over 2023 as you've seen an energy crisis, we have a food crisis, we have an inflation crisis and as you know to keep up with inflation this is where you want to be actively managing your portfolios and taking advantage of massive discounts like we have at the moment across multiple commodities. Remember the start of the week we talked you through an opportunity here with oil to sell short into this market. Over 92% of hedge funds and money managers they'd added and bought right at the top of the move. The markets take the staircase up and the elevator down. This is where you need to constantly lock in those profits. Avoid popcorn trades where you may be in a lot of profit on your portfolio you get a bit complacent you decide not to bank the profit and then very quickly the markets they take a tumble in the opposite direction this is where you want to be actively managing your portfolio taking advantage of the cycles that we have for each commodity utilizing all of the data statistics the market intelligence learning the real-time data driven cycles for each commodity uh, this is all going to help you massively to know when to buy and also knowing when to sell. Again, over the last week, it's been a fantastic opportunity, particularly on natural gas. As you know, we booked 800 points on natural gas, the sell short on oil that finally delivered this week with a massive rug pull. Oil prices, they've broken down 10% just in the last week. And now we've got back-to-back -back opportunities to use that capital and buy in nice and low here on multiple metals at the moment. So as you can imagine, we've taken full advantage with this with our clients over the course of this week. Building into positions here on gold at the swing lows, been the same on silver, on platinum, on palladium and copper. Now we've just had the non-farm payroll data as well. This is actually further giving you an opportunity with a spike down to seven month lows on multiple metals. We're already starting to see these metals get a twitch and a bit at the moment. Copper is leading on Friday. It's up 1% on the day at the moment. This is a market that I like a lot at the current prices. Of course, I like gold here at 1,810 US dollars per ounce, which was just tapped on non-farm payrolls. We're liking silver here at $21 per ounce. Palladium of of course down at the 11.40, 11.50 zone presenting massive opportunities and platinum as well. This is a very attractive market at the current prices. Again this week has just provided you another routine opportunity on energies for example on natural gas to bank on the breakout 10 percent breakout this week highest level so far in 2023 uranium prices breaking out to all-time record highs selling short on oil which was overdue a big correction taking the elevator down and then rotating that capital and swooping in nice and low here on multiple precious metals which are already starting to get a bid after friday's non-farm payroll data Again, these markets right now, they are providing massive opportunities. Goldman Sachs have stated it best. It is now the golden age of trading. Right now, we have stock markets. They're tanking yet again. They're now giving back a lot of that profit because they're not routinely locking in these profits or understanding the cycles that we get. Where well, you constantly need to be taking advantage of each quarter, each cycle. And as we go into next week, China are back from their one week public holiday. The whole of this week, it's been a bit quiet during Asia Pacific. Yes, because Asia have been away the whole week on public holiday. What will happen next week when they come back? Fresh capital injection to the market. You can bet that China will be very interested in picking up gold prices back down towards 1800 here. Gold, silver, platinum, palladium, copper, they are all on a massive sale here. So I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing a slingshot move higher as we go into next week. And of course, this comes really down to understanding the capital flows in the market, the macros, the fundamentals, the narratives. This is where you really want to be utilizing, applying a research-driven approach to the market. Technical analysis, no way is that enough to give you edge in these markets. You need to be utilizing data, statistics, market intelligence, further align that, of course, with the cycles here for each commodity, the capital flows, extremely important. Then, of course, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, align this with the narratives and then finally how the hedge funds the money managers the banks the institutions how they're all positioned in the market in real time this is going to help you massively to get an edge so with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders learn the professional research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so just make sure you click in the link 
below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.